So, I am nearly home, just at a service station just outside of Milton Keynes. Um, we won, convincingly. I thought we were absolutely fantastic, especially in the second half. I thought the first 10 minutes of the game, we started so quickly. Um, should have been 3-0 up in that first 10 minutes. And then obviously, we gifted Wayne Rooney a goal. Another sort of mistake. I've seen it back and it could have possibly been a free kick, but you got to play on. and. It was just a hospital ball from Mertesacker into Xhaka in the first place. But just hoof it. Just get rid of it. And he obviously didn't do that. And um, again, <laughs> we're 1-0 down and it's like, oh, here we go again. But it took 20 minutes to get going after that. And, you know, we, we did have our backs to the wall at times as well in that period. Because they had a couple of more chances and that sort of got them ex excited. And they... They thought they may, may have nicked a second goal, which they didn't um, at the time. And then Monreal scoring an unbelievable goal. I didn't even know it had gone in. I thought it hit the side netting. We were right down the other end of that. And yeah, that gave us a lifeline. And um, second half, I thought we absolutely spanked them. And that was a proper Arsenal performance in that second half. That was, that was what I expect from my club. You know, I expect us to to go to teams that have been struggling and I expect us to go and wipe the floor with them and we did that and it was nice to see Ozil actually turn up and perform for a change because I massively criticised this guy but when he is good he's fantastic I just want him to do it more than once every six months and it was nice to see uh, Lacazette linking up and um, Sanchez also that front three it could be it could be deadly when it gets going and and that's what angers me so much as an Arsenal fan is the fact that we are so close to being good, but we just never do what's required to get there. And then we go and get results against Stoke and against Watford. And, you know, yes, it's a great win today. And it was fantastic. And I enjoyed watching it. It was the first time I've actually enjoyed watching an Arsenal match and, and actually left the ground thinking, wow, we were actually really good today. You know, we all seen the boar fests that we've had over the last six, seven, eight months, whatever it may be, probably longer than that. It was actually nice to see a proper performance. But let's not get it twisted. This Everton team are dog shit this season, and I'm shocked. I said that in my preview for the game. They've spent a lot of money. They've got a very good manager. Um, there was chance of uh, you're getting sacked in the morning coming from our end today. And there was Everton fans standing up clapping it. You know, they, they, there's a lot of Everton fans that want him to go, and I'm shocked. I know they're in the bottom three now, but he is a top-draw football manager, and I think you should keep him. If, if any Everton fans are watching, I think you should keep him. I think he's class. Um, you just need a striker. That's, that's, um, that's my opinion on it. Anyway, I'm going uh, gonna to finish the last leg of my journey, and then I'm going to go in and have a well-deserved beer. So subscribe, like, share. And uh, my preview for the Norwich game will be out tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Stick notifications on. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.